<laughs> Welcome to Yan, one of the fastest restaurants to achieve three Michelin stars in history. What is Yan's secret? And what makes this restaurant so special? This is S3, Munich. Walking into Jan, you're greeted by smiling staff in this small, intimate space. Hi. Hello, hello. With partial views of the kitchen. Their motto, Labor de Libre, which translates to Laboratory of Love, adorns the kitchen entrance. My wish is to, to tell and explore a little bit about the German taste DNA. Mood for, for cooking. <laughs> in the mood for eating, so. <laughs> Enjoy. Thank Enjoy. you. Great that you're here. Thanks. Thank you very much. Tonight's menu consists of 18 courses at 320 euros. We chose the wine pairing option at 145 euros. We are big fans, so you drink a lot of champagne and we are starting with sparkling wine from Germany, from uh, Franconia, which is Pinot Noir 100% from the year 2017. This is the Foie Gras of Chantilly. It's a classic from uh, Chef Jan, called it Kokan Caper. It's like dried caper, finger limes and the Foie Gras mousse. On top there is a caper leaf and uh, the beacon nuts. There's also a little bit of maple syrup smoked. First bite, it's got all the elements. Crispy, salty, sweet, smoke. Really nice texture, very nice start to the evening. Uh, lemon lisse, a little bit of dill on it with a uh, smoked salmon. Little reddish jalapeno mousse with mint. Besides, these little leaves are uh, cilantro. The presentation is so delicate. Had a bit of spice, a bit of sweet, a bit of smoke, a lot of different textural elements, very complex, very interesting. You can taste every single different intent, which is really refreshing. Pretty excited to see what happens. This one is a buckwheat tartlet. There's a little bit of salad inside and a homemade cocktail sauce with a little bit of armagnac and a mandarin uh, celery on top. Yes, flavor first here. There's like mustard seed, there's cream. The crab is incredibly fresh, super cold, really well thought out, very complex. There's a lot of masterful cooking happening back there and it's not very rare, but it is rare for us to taste like this level of cooking. We've only had three bites and we could tell that we're off to an amazing start. It's Silvana, it's also a German grape variety known from Franconia, but here it's from South Germany, from uh, Baden. Konrad Schlör is the winemaker and it's edition selected for Jan, and therefore we choose the bigger bottles. <laughs> the next course was an eel dashi and single wonton dumpling of pork and duck. That was a weird thing, but like, I love how hot that was. I know that sounds really trivial. Normally you get an appetizer and it's like, oh, it's a little bit like tepid. So it's been sitting there for a while. No, this was like made on your table. It matters for flavor and it matters for the effect. The base was an eel broth, but in no way did it taste like an eel broth at all. Like silky, oily fat drops as well. The dumpling was outstanding flavor-wise. <laughs> that was amazing. This is an Irish Moor oyster, chowamushi, trout roe, pomegranate, and earl grey. Almost too complex for me to actually verbalize how amazing that was. A little bit of sea flavor, punch from the trout row, freshness from the pomegranate, there's light oil running through it as well. Like there's so many layers and they all work perfectly and seamlessly together. Christian Stahl is the winemaker and we are in the vineyard called Steinmauer. It's a Chenin Blanc. It's very elegant but of course with this little bit more exotic fruit but paired with a lot of minerals, very nice vibrant acidity. Yeah. So that's our char from Schlesi. It's lightly smoked. On top of the char itself, we do have the caviar of the char. Tartlet, which is filled with flan made of the liver of the char, and a bit of a jelly made from sauerkraut, a sauce based on horseradish. And on the other hand side, an onion broth with sauerkraut juice, actually. There's something very traditional, almost old school about the plating but there's also something very modern about it too. The flavor and combination of flavors here, every single element of this dish you taste. The char is almost raw. It is beautiful. It tastes like it was fish today. 
So this smells like glory in tarragon. Mm. So at face value, that's veal stomach and tongue with caviar and dumplings. The dumplings are a beautiful soft pillowy texture. There's a bit of crunch. The tarragon adds flavor at the back of it. N25 Kalu, the caviar, he selected specifically just to add a bit of fishy flavor. Again, just masterful. So happy. You ready? I'm ready. Is that the question? Yeah, I saw them rolling the potato dumplings earlier, and I knew I was going to be excited about the dish from then. Chef Yan is a perfectionist, and you can tell the garnishes in that last dish. The tarragon, the onions, and the offal were all cut to the exact same like millimeter. The artist itself is Stefan Stumbel, so based on Heimat, which would mean the home place where you are or where your heart is based or where you come from. And that's the way Labor de Liebe, yeah, our sign for the restaurant, which is also over the door right there. And we are at Fenard Vergeles, vintage 2018. Creaminess, you have a hint of this caramelized, slightly nutty notes. Sourdough bread, freshly baked for every service. We got three flowers in our bread. All the trimmings we have and we cut it, we keep it. Roast it, dry it, and put it back in our dough. So we get a deeper flavor. Butter that's unsalted, and we have a little bit of salt on top. Dip out of cream cheese, paprika puree, and we got sauerkraut in it, lard and grease on top. Okay. First question: What does this bread smell like? It smells wonderful. <laughs> Big surprise. Second question: What does the cream cheese, paprika, sauerkraut spread smell like? Wonderful. Third question. What does it taste like together? I want that every day. Roasted scallops from Norway, they are hand dived underneath. Cream from roasted celery and chestnut. Foam from Parmesan. A sauce based on Bajon. The truffle from Perigord. Some baked oxtail. The flavor that came through the most in this dish was the Vangeon sauce. A lot of acidic and bitter flavor in that oxtail. Very spongy, really soak up the sauce. We've been very fortunate on rare occasions to enjoy food cooked at this level. Yeah, this is very special. We are going to one of the seven oldest vineyards uh, wineries we have in Germany, to the Katoyser Hof. We have Riesling, 100%, and it has amazing fruit, but also paired with a nice acidity. <laughs> We continue with our sweet bread. On top of the sweet bread, we do have an X also, but we are doing it uh, based on mushrooms. Parsley roots puree, a salad from pickled cucumber, pepper sauce with a bit of pistachio oil. Oh my God. It's like the world's best chicken wing. God, whoa. If you've watched enough of our videos, you know that sweet breads are not my thing. We'll see what happens outside crust on it had almost the consistency of like a glass like crisp with like chili and sweet wonderful unfortunately today is not the day that i'm sold on sweet breads if i can't be sold here i can never be sold it's just not ever going to be for me hans peter Ziereisen is the winemaker and this is syrah from um, a little bit higher altitude quite close to the schwarzwald the black forest they have volcanic soil which gives the wine also a hint of smokiness, dark berry fruits, meaty notes, but everything in a very elegant way. We're having a lamb from the Porting Estate. We do have roasted saddle of the lamb, braised knuckle of the lamb, some caviar made from egg blends, anchovy mayonnaise, and inside of the sauce, we do have tom. And the absinthe on top is actually produced uh, in Switzerland. I was gonna say words about the lamb and then I got to the skin. That skin is disgusting. I'm disgusted that all the other skin doesn't taste that good. It's like lamb condensed into one crispy little piece of skin. Like, taste the whole animal in that little crisp. I'm gonna remember that for a long time. A lot of umami, a lot of saltiness, a hint of uh, lemon fruit and grapefruit, but mostly the nutty notes and nutty flavors. A play on cheese and crackers. 30 month aged Sprint's cheese from a local supplier, bitter salads, fig leaf oil, crispy chicken skin, and pate covered by a herb cracker. 
Stefan. Thank you. Thank Welcome. You have notes of herbs, nice, fresh, vibrant acidity, and a little bit more exotic and citrus fruit. Rhubarb, panna cotta, tahini vanilla, verbena, celery, and rose champagne. Strong notes of pungent verbena and a perfect panna cotta texture with crispy <laughs> rhubarb flakes. An immaculate dessert. Some of the traditional combinations like the calf with, with a little dumpling, with a potato yeah, dumpling. Yeah. So it's really traditional in, 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 our, in our country and also in Austria and Switzerland. And yeah, it's, 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 sometimes it's, it's not too easy to explain to, to foreigners, but uh, yes, it's, it's our style to cook and uh, I'm glad you like it. Even hearing it, like when, when they were presenting the dish, yes. I could hear the combination. I was like, I've never heard of what's happening. But then you taste it and it's just... Makes sense. It makes sense. It's modern. Something about it feels traditional. Like it's beautiful. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah and it's, it's uh, basically it's, 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 it's re-cooking. Yeah? Yeah. I don't use sous vide. I don't use... Yeah. Uh, we, we cook the meat on the bone. We, we cook the fish on the bone. We crush down the, the mussels directly from the shell. And the most intense flavors you can get out of it. We would recommend to start with our sherbet, apple sherbet, in a profiterole. Perfectly after, we have our warm donuts, a little bit of cinnamon and sugar, a pineapple sorbet, a made in white chocolate, Lübecker Listhäckchen, a traditional nut cake from Germany in miniature form, made with walnut and also hazelnuts, our Madagascar chocolate confect with an almond inside. It's uh, absinthe, ice cube and uh, some cold water. You have to try it, it's super sure. delicious, yeah. One of my colleagues here in the kitchen, his dad uh, made this one. Based on our ranking system, Jan receives an S2. To find out why, please visit our website.